guys are welcome back to the Global Education Zone and in this episode we want to be dealing with um, a concept which is known as um, algebraic equations so um, algebraic equations they are basically equations that help us to um, understand mathematics better so in this episode we are going to be dealing with algebraic equations and I will be giving you guys some examples so, but basically, there are some objectives we need to achieve before the end of this class. So, first of all, we need to be able to um, understand and solve problems involving quadratic equations by algebraic methods. We should also be able to solve problems involving two simultaneous equations, where one is linear and the other is quadratic by algebraic methods. So, um, one note of um, that I'll, get, I'll give you guys is this. As I mentioned in the introduction video of this course, I said that um, this course is going to be very concise. I will be dealing majorly with examples, questions. I will be going down, down to earth. We are going to be doing it just the way it's supposed to be. So I hope you um, will end up understanding this course. So basically, let's talk about. Let's start working with algebraic equations. So um, first of all, we need to be um, factorizing equations. So let me let me give an example. So in this example, we have. Um, I will give five examples on the screen now. So we have five examples here, and um, each of these examples you could solve them. But let's try. Just check the screen and check the ones which you will be able to solve. But these are basically algebraic equations, and we will be factorizing them using different methods. So there are different methods of factorizing equations. Yeah, and we are going to deal with each of the methods in this question. So you can screenshot the questions. I will do the um, the questions. Then you are going to you could also try them yourself and guess the answers. You can solve them before I try them. Let's start. So, um, let's start from the first question. The first question we have um, x squared minus 4x minus 21. So, we have um, x squared minus 4x minus 4x minus 21. So, basically, um, we have x squared minus 4x minus 21. So, basically, the first thing we need to do is factorize this equation. So, we are going to be um, expanding the middle term into two terms in such a way that those two terms, the sum of those two terms will give us the middle term, and the product of those two terms will give us the last terms. The, the, give us the product of the last and the first term. So basically, let's multiply the last and first term together. That's x squared times 21. That's 21 x squared. So we're looking for two factors of 21 that will give us minus 4. So by guessing, that should be minus 7x and 3x. So let's plug that. That's x squared minus 7x plus 3x minus 21 so this this is not an equation this is just an expression right so that will be equals to um let's factorize x out in the first case x open bracket x minus 7 and let's factorize um 3 plus 3 open bracket x minus 7 so at the end of the day we have x plus 3 x minus 7 in this equation so this is the factor of this so this this method we use now is called um um factorization method of solving um, algebraic, algebraic expressions and you can also use this you can extend this into algebraic equations by making it equal to zero so then you will now solve like this x plus 3 equals 0 or x minus 7 equals 0 and then we'll have x equals what minus 3 and then or x equals 7 so that, that's x equals minus 3 or so that will be the solution of this kind of equation that's if we're solving it in that so you can screenshot it you can pause the video and look for the truth to the um, solution now another example of solving equations is using um completing the square method now this completing the square method these are the steps so i'll do that for the second example which is x squared plus 6x minus 5 plus 5 rather yes x squared plus 6x square plus, five, x plus five. the second example x squared plus 6x plus 5 so um basically let's um deal with this x plus 6 x plus 5 now the first thing you need to do is basically you need to look at the middle term and let's take um the um divide the middle term by 2 that will be 3 and then we square that um that answer so when we divide 6 by 2 we get 3 and square 3 that will be 9 so that means we need a, a, a value of 9 as the last step so now let's say x squared plus 6x plus 9 that's the value we need here but we have but when we transform from year to year if we wanted to bring it back here we need to subtract 4 right so that is basically what we do and then we've converted this one to a square that's simply x plus 3x which is half the middle term squared 
then sorry x plus 3 which is how the middle x x plus 3 square minus 4 so this is another way of factorizing and then we can also say we can if we have if we have an equation that will be equal to 0 then we'll have um, x x plus 3 squared equals zero, equals 4 and then you solve the equation like that that is the second method that is the method of completing the square so let's move on to another method of solving um algebraic um expressions and that is the quadratic formula now the quadratic formula is quite simple to use if you understand it so the third example is x squared minus 4x plus 3 we well, are going to use the quadratic formula for this so x squared x squared minus 4x plus 3 now the quadratic formula is if you've not come across it it is written as this x equals minus b plus or minus roots b squared minus 4ac over 2a so just in case you've not come across something like this, this is the quadratic formula. Now this quadratic formula, we um we um basically substitute the values of a, b, and c. Now the coefficient of x squared in the equation in this expression is your a. The coefficient of x in your expression is your b, and then the expression that does not have any power of x, that's the zero power of x, is the c. So that means we have minus b. That's minus minus four, minus minus of minus four plus or minus square root of b. B is um minus four. That's minus. 4, the square of minus 4, that's 16, minus 4 times 8 times 6, 4 times 1 times 3, that's um, 12, all over, 2 times 8, that's 2 times 1, that's 2, so that's minus minus 4 is 4, 4 plus or minus roots, 4 over 2, that equals um, 4 plus or minus 2 over 2, that's, it is 4 plus 2 over 2 or 4 minus 2 over 2, so 4 plus 2 over 2, that's 4 plus 2 over 2, or, 4 minus 2 over 2. That's 6 over 2 or 2 over 2. That means x is equal to 3 or 1. That is the solution for this kind of equation. That is using the quadratic formula. So these are various methods you can explore the algebraic um, in the equation using these methods. So these are basically the methods that you'll be using in um, this kind of questions. And if you are if you have any questions, further questions on this topic, you can let me know in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.